maintain that same tone from the first Joker, maintain that same tone, we're good. <laughs> Fully ade, um, delusion or mental illness shared by two people. First off, I'm super happy about this. Because, <laughs> you know, on one hand, I told you, Joker, that is a fantastic film. And it was on my birthday, October 4th. Hey, hey. Um, ama amazing, amazing film. And it is, hands down, I don't give a damn about that. You dark damn metrics, I see what you want. Hands down, it is the best film based off of a comic book character or property that's ever been made. Is it is the first time we've actually had like a real proper film, real actual real drama proper film made off of a comic book property, you know? Um and Joaquin Phoenix <laughs> as a guy who used to do acting way back in the day and so forth, I mean what Joaquin Phoenix did in that film was just it was just on a on a whole other level. I'm like, bro, they, the guy's acting is just it's ridiculous. Like the guy is a chief of acting. Like because I watched um, her recently. I wasn't really a big fan of the film. The guy, the guy's a ridiculous actor. Like the guys, like the guy is one of the greatest actors of all time. You know because the emotions that this guy can go to, the places that this guy this guy can go to, mentally, psychologically, I don't know. Only guys like Brando. Um, obviously, De Niro, Pacino, those are only other guys who I know can go to the kind of depth that this guy can go to in terms of just a depth of emotions. It's ridiculous, man. And I think he, and remember, what Felix always said, bro, I'm, I'm, like, he, he so enjoyed the process, so enjoyed the film, enjoyed playing with Felix was like, bro, if you have another movie, put me in, coach, put, put me in. And we're back in, man. Um, fully at the. That's where it gets dicey. Delusion or mental illness shared by two people. Two people. That I go onto Twitter and I see Harley Quinn is trending. Now, it could not be like a literal meaning. Where, oh, for little, shared by two people and so forth. But it could maybe be like multiple personalities, split personality. Like, really, this is a case of where, like, Arthur Fleck and Joker are just two separate personalities and two separate entities. But it probably seems that this is going to be like. He finds another. He he finds someone else that's as crazy as him. <sighs> you see, people say it's Harley Quinn, but I hope Todd Phillips is smarter than that. Just as how he he very cleverly teased the whole oh Bruce Wayne is not going to be a whole Bruce Wayne thing, and Thomas Wayne, and then he just sort of veered off of that whole thing and didn't really play into the whole comic book aspect of Bruce Wayne and Thomas Wayne. I just hope that he creates something original with this in terms of this other crazy psychotic person that he he rolls in with now but i think whatever the case may, may be i mean like for me like whatever the case may be i mean because that's an amazing film i have the dvd i bought the dvd i watched it twice in, in the cinema and so forth um with one of the best better like that is one of the best better presents i've ever had in my life you know watching that on my birthday was amazing um and yeah i'm just i, just, I really want to just see what where they go to in this film you know, with um, Joaquin Phoenix and, and so forth. Because obviously they posted, um, he posted on his Instagram, um, Joaquin Phoenix basically reading the um, the um, script and so forth. Man. So, see what happens, man. Um, but, just don't, 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 don't roll with Harley. But here's the thing, though. Here's the thing. If they do roll with Harley Quinn and so forth, I think they'll do what they did with Arthur Fleck, where it isn't in the literal comic book sense. What is what is so amazing about this war? This universe they have is realistic. So if it's going to be Harley Quinn, it's going to, not going to be as... Uh, it's going to be like, no, something realistic. So if you get like a chicken and so forth, it's going to be someone who's like really messed up and it's really psych, psych, psychotic, but in a real grounded sense, you know? So I'm cool, just as long as they don't go the very weird comic booky thing and because so, I mean, i'm not a fan of harley quinn i'm like uh, no so if they just whatever they do is just keep it real keep it stuck keep it real, and maintain that same tone from the first joker maintain that same tone we're good <laughs> just maintain that same tone from joker one we're good but bro i am just super excited to see what joaquin phoenix does and how deeper he can go into this character because this, this will be his first sequel 
you know and you could just see he's not he's not a franchise kind of a guy he's not a guy that does franchises the fact that he's coming back into this i'm now interested to know that where is he not going to take this character but yeah i am fully totally excited about this man so guys tell me what you think about this and so for the comments below and join the movie discord channel man i'll, I'll put it in the pinned comments below man join the movie discord channel and we can talk more about this and other movies man but yeah man <sighs> fully at the let's roll